the only thing that get me geek now. Someone got a problem every week now. Oh, now they talking to me. So we are back. It's the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast Friday, Ricky Tread, aka Radio Rick, aka. And to the left of me, <laughs> you like that one right there? Right? Oh boy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's me, PK Herc. You done no ganja gang. Yeah, that ganja no. giant gang, sports smokers collective, beast mode, free people association, foreign speed. That's my mechanic. Shout out my mechanics. Jeez. You understand what I'm saying? Been putting in work for me for 20 years. Good dude. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Um, big up the whole We Love Hip Hop team. Gutsy Guts, Gucci, yes. Sav, you hey. know. People in the building, everybody else who were, who's with the team, you know who you are. I don't need to big you up all the time, but you know what? You know who you are. I'm just hitting up the people in the room. Friday, you understand? Mm-hmm. But yeah, so, but that's why I go on. What, 162? 162? Big up Savvy Sav, Savvy Sav? Hey. Yeah, maybe big up Savvy Sav. Savvy, who you have to big up? Uh, yeah. House of Healing and Herbs, as per usual. And um, you guys, of course, you know, because mm. I appreciate you guys, so thanks. Thanks. Hey. Neutral. Guys, did you see that I changed my name? Because I did it. I did it. I did it. Savvy the ghost. I did it. I see. Yeah. I did it. Just for you guys, I have to make the change. You guys, I don't care if you don't like it, guys. I gave you an opportunity to give me your opinion and you didn't answer me. So that's whoa, what it is. Whoa, and that's whoa, what it's going to stay. Whoa, attitude. Okay. So yeah, you, you got a new Instagram name. Yeah, I had to change new it. New handle. You see, so you, so what's your name on Instagram like now? You said it, Savvy the Ghost. Savvy the Ghost. Savvy the Ghost. All right. Savvy the ghost I tried to just building. do Savvy, it didn't work. I, <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I gotta add the Y. Savvy the but Ghost. Guys, don't call me that. Don't call she's me Savvy on, on the street. She's on don't that do that. loot shit, eh? <laughs> How can I call you anything on the street? Ghost. Ghost. What you look like? It's okay. Don't call me that on the street. Don't call me that in my in in your in Yo, your Yo, some posts. people are like, Yo, hold on. <laughs> Is that Sam? Yo, I heard her voice. You know what's so funny? Mm. So I watched the new intro. Oy. Yeah, you're in there. New intro? And I'm like, in the intro? I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's right. I was like, wow, that's a... Shout out to me. Yeah, thanks, Friday. Hey. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, we totally get you on camera one way or another. You yeah, know what I'm guess so. Um, also, I want to give some quick shout outs to all the listening audience out there. Um, the Cubicle Gang, you know what I mean? Hey. Uh, cubicles. Big up the Thursday morning gang, the people who are My listening people. on uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, um, all the listening platforms. Big up to the YouTube viewers, all the people who are watching on YouTube. Make sure to please, please subscribe. Hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell next to it. Um, what else? Respect the process? Yes. Um, before we get to that, I want to retract some statements. <laughs> oh, Friday. Burr, okay, burr, hold burr. on. AKA Retraction Rick. Retraction Rick. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I like that one. <laughs> Two points okay. for you. Okay, first I want to start by apologizing for last week, episode 161. Okay, the sound was a little bit off in the intro segment. Um, before we got to our guest and before we got to the interview that, um, you know, the pre-recorded interview with Zai and I, uh, and we had the guest, um, Life of the Dot, that came in and we filmed the interview last week. We got the sound right by then, but the intro segment, like what we're doing now, I was going through a little bit of a learning curve when it came to the, to the rented equipment. So everybody's vocals got saved onto one track. So the sound quality wasn't as good last week as it, as you're hearing right now our regular regulars you know what i'm saying so apologize for that thanks for apologizing you know what i'm saying um the retract the, the, the retraction i jumped on star in the morning or star in the star report <laughs> there's been at least 17 cases of the coronavirus over here mm. people dying i think it's a conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> and I'll admit, I got a little bit. I jumped out the window a little bit. This guy jumped the shark. If anybody knows TV terms, the man jumped the shark. Boy. I jumped the shark. <laughs> yeah, I got a little crazy. So I started off by sending a donation, you know, as we do. You know, I send a donation to get the chat or the, my, my, um, 
my comment mentioned. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, we're dropping like flies off the coronavirus out here. Not even on one death and not a GTA. <laughs> and the man's talking about people that are dropping like flies from the coronavirus. So, fake news, my bad. Nobody died over here. <laughs> okay. Fuck. I meant worldwide. Well, I, actually, I didn't. I, I really meant here, but I was the just mass- oh, Yeah, <laughs> the, yo, the man was hot on himself, bro. But go on, continue. And then... I made the statement, we were talking about the six and whatever, whatever, and I was like, no, I know Star, I run the biggest media platform in the city. Underground. I know what the fuck he's talking about, I just want to make sure. Okay, so, um... Listen, I, I, run the biggest pla- I, I run the biggest media platform for the underground out here. I know my shit. Gotcha. For the underground. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Saf. We're in the mainstream yet, but we did. Because that's what I meant. But that's not no, what you said. You, no, he said, your exact words were, I run the biggest underground media. No, no. Media thing for the underground. I put yeah. Yes, after. you said that. So let's say if it was in parentheses, if you were going to read it on paper. No, but you, sa- you said that out loud. Right. Oh, hold on. You're I'm well early. Yo, it's good, G. You there? No, no, no. I'm on my way down. I'm coming down to DVD right now. All right. Just give me a text when you're downstairs. We're just filming the intro. All right. Cool. All right. Bless. All right. Richie Sosa. All right. Go on. Savvy, Sav? I just said it, and you were the one that was talking. You paused us, not me paused you. Okay. So what were you saying before I, I jumped on the phone? I there? said what you exactly said was. <laughs> the underground media. You said biggest. your exact words were you are the, you are, I run the biggest underground media platform that's no, what, exactly what you said that's, that wasn't my words i said i run the biggest media platform in the city you didn't say media for the underground no that's not what you said Re- listen to your own words well we'll do the <laughs> we'll be able to see that. but either way if that's what you said it doesn't even matter that you tried to retract your statement or correct your statement when you said it. you shouldn't have said it okay and here's the reason you know no matter how i feel or whatever you know or how hard we're going that's up to the people to decide End of the day. You damn skippy. You know what I'm saying? Her, her, her hit me on, 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 you know, I was talking to him early. He was like, fam, what are you doing? I was like, you know, I'm bad. my bad. <laughs> I jumped. I saw the cliff. The man did a All head right. dive off the cliff. The man just said, yo, fuck it. I said, what is that? A whole ocean down there? I'm jumping. So I went for it. Or he parachuted without a parachute. The man jumped out the plane and realized, oh, shit. Yeah, so, so my bad. My I bad. I don't have a parachute. Sorry, not sorry. Um, now he's on some Hillary shit. Okay. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, no, not Hillary. What's her name? Flipping uh, Kathleen Wynne or whatever. Former. Mm-hmm. Her. She well, was some... facey when she seen she was going to lose the election. She's like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. All right? <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I want to talk to you about. You're, you're, this? The, you're, 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 you're on some video fix and shit? The handy got a nigga sitting sideways. Counting bang rolls up in the driveway. Hmm? Nigga, listen to me. First things first, <laughs> you gotta check yourself with that pause where you talk about video vixen talk. What happened? Yo. I missed it. Oh no, I missed it. What happened? Yo, the man just said it. Oh, I'm on some video vixen shit. Wrong. So shout out to Tony. Pause. There's the tone of video that we were video in the song we were just playing. Just because I'm a light skin nigga don't mean nothing. <laughs> that's a fucking, that's what some underlined jabs, eh, Freddy? That's exactly that. <laughs> that's what it was, eh? Right. Some underlined jabbing, eh? All right, Freddy, tell cool. me what happened. What happened? So, okay, I'm there taking in Tona's new video. Big yeah. up to Tona. The, new, the, the tune that we were playing in the beginning of the show. Uh-huh. Right? It's a link up thing. Uh-huh. Right? And I'm watching the video. I've seen the bar scene and I was like, Who's that? You're in the scene? You're in the video? Yeah. You are, oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, but also, cameo. and I'm promoting the platform too, wearing the We Love Hip Hop hat. I'm pretty cameo. sure. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing the We Love Hip Hop hat in the show. In the no? scene. In the video. No, I wasn't wearing this. No, I wasn't wearing this. If it wasn't, if it was, okay, I'll tell you right now. If it wasn't the We Love Hip Hop hat, it was probably. A free people association hat. No, it was, we love hip hop. I know, but I'm just saying one of the two. It had to be one of the two. These weren't even these weren't even available them time. Were you smoking weed in the club? Yeah, because you know where it was. Oh, you weren't there. Fuck. It was at um, just off of Queen Street. There, it has like that big like parking lot beside it. You go inside. It's like a little bar. It, it's a nice little. It's a nice little spot for private venues. And you know what? I fucking forgot. Like yo. We could probably do a wicked live podcast. Yeah. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? The way it's set up. And they yeah. let you smoke up London there. 
Yeah, we're, we're, well, the or man just, closed the door. Was it, was it just he you? closed the door. No, he closed the door, and he's like, "Yeah, okay, well, we're filming a video. It's a private event right now, so go on, go on, smoke." And in the same place, we went from my we uh, my friend Greg when he was ma- getting married. Mm. We had his stag in the same the stag in the same place, and yeah, the guy was letting us smoke and drink and everything. It was well, you're proper. the only person I seen in the video who actually had a blunt in his mouth. That's yeah, what because a so <laughs> man move. <laughs> <laughs> so man move. So man move. Split smokers. It's on my chest. That's right. So man yeah. move. You know. So yeah, that that was that was very entertaining to see. I was like, but yo, yo, don't get it twisted. Eh? Before I was doing podcasting and then the other, th- I was do- I was in midi- music videos. Eh? Oh. My oh, cousins, we, know. we knew you My were. cousin's music videos, mm-hmm. I'm always in the back. People are probably thinking, yo, is that shout a shooter? To, shout out to Frankie Payne. Is that the shooter? <laughs> right? I'm just standing in the back. My cousin like, in the back. <laughs> I'm in the video, in the back. Mm-hmm. In the back. Maybe one time I get a little cameo, but usually I'm just With in dreads. the back. With dreads. <laughs> oh, boy. If you, if you want to go back to find um, oh, her with the dreads. Yeah, look for dreads. <laughs> look for any Frankie Payne video back in the days. You'll find her with the dreads in there. Uh, you know what I mean? Holla at your boy. The dreads. Or I might yeah. give you a... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one remix. Life, uh, what is it? Uh, the Hood is Here remix. Mm. Yeah, Jellystone. I was the Hood in that is video. Here remix. I was in that video too. I was, in that, I was in that video when, mm-hmm. when Jugs, when they were in, in Chuch, doing the scene in Chuchuwe. Mm. Chuchuwe. Chuchuwe for the white people. Chuchuwe. And Chuchuwe for the Yadi them. Chuchuwe. Even the bus driver said Chuchuwe, okay? So, yo. Don't tell me I'm saying it. I'm not. It's Why not. Like that? It, it's mm-hmm. Chuchuwe. No, it's Chuchuwe. Okay. Shout out to all the church niggas. <laughs> um, Facts. I, I made a, little, a quick little appearance also in um, the documentary. Yeah, a lot of artists. There's one person that makes sure if there's a Toronto artist we do not know about, he always makes sure he uses his YouTube channel We Love Hip Hop to introduce him to the world. He goes by the name of Friday. Oh, Doc. A yeah. documentary. The um, London to Canada 3. Oh, yes, 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 I remember. Big up uh, Flash Johnson, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, he, I, he popped up at the cribble. I let, you know, one of the, the, the few people who got to, to see the, the, the bat cave. And yeah, we got a quick Friday interview. dropped the Addy, but in a good way. You know what I'm saying? In a non violent way. Yeah, man, he I dropped got, the Addy. And it's a dope, it's dope, nice little documentary put he put together there, you know, joining talking about the, the connection between the UK and the and the Toronto scene. Previewed a lot of, of the newer rappers that are coming up. That's yeah. good. That's you got good. some behind the scene presser shit, all types of shit. So nice, nice. Look nice. out for that, you know what I'm saying? Your boy spitting jewels. Oh, not bars. No, no, just oh, jewels. Okay. Just jewels. Just jewels. No bars. Yet. Um, yet. Wow. <laughs> Yo, Friday's going to come out of retirement. Eh? I'm Don't telling fuck you. Around, eh? Talking about unreleased. <laughs> low key. Mm-hmm. We know. Man's been in the studio. Isn't it low key? Yeah, I've been in the studio. I, I actually, I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I have been writing some bars. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time with this. Thing. It's like, you know. I don't want to get too sidetracked, but I wrote a couple, a good, I wrote a good. So 12. is there a mixtape coming? It's a lot of fucking work, man. EP? EP. Or two listen, hot I haven't singles? Even, I haven't even finished the 16. I got okay. 12. Hold then on a second. Stop writing. Hold on. I got, hold on. I got a hot Just, just hold on. stop. Hold on. But didn't it's you okay. Write, didn't you write also for the fucking the Brooklyn Challenge? Oh, there's a hot 12 sitting around. or hot? No, there's a hot 24 <laughs> sitting around for that somewhere in my phone. So clearly you're not motivated to this guy's uh, writing do this. 24s, 12s. What kind of fucking rhyme structure are you on, Friday? Well, you know, because I can't just go 16. 12, 12 bars, 24 I, I, bars. I, I didn't get the whole 16 bar thought out, so I'm like, all right, I got yeah, 12 right now. Yeah, I understand right that, but the 24... Oh, I'll, I'll go long. Once I'm done 16, I ain't done, fam. Nah, I hear you. Not everybody does 16 bars and then they go whatever, but... You know what I'm saying? You know how Hove used to have said in the track? Keep going. That's me, fam. More bars. Jeez. Whoa. Where did that come from? <laughs> obviously the rapper. Uh, <laughs> said, obviously the rapper. <laughs> but um speaking of rappers, Respect the Process is coming up. Um or it is, it's going on right now. Join the Respect the Process Challenge. Shout out to all the people who are in there right now. George. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to all the people who are in there right now. We're still taking submissions. I'm gonna add some new beats to the to the mix as well. You know what I'm saying? There's um some more beat submissions that are coming in, and I'm hearing a lot of fire. So we're gonna add a couple more beats. And yeah, send us a one minute video of you spitting your hottest bars. We'll put you head to head up against another artist up on the, on our Instagram pages and let the people decide. You know what I mean? Um. Do a quick ad here for um, match pipes. For match pipes here before we get to our top six. Match pipes. I got one on the table right here. Well, you brought one today. Bam. Gucci showing you something right there. What's Gucci showing you before we get to this ad? Talk to me, Sap. Kenneth Petty reportedly arrested and. Oh, we got that. We got that. We got that. Oh. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We got. We got that, Gucci. That's in the list. <laughs> oh, is that the Mano? The, the, the menage or the, the petty menage. the petty family is going through some some things but um <sighs> match pipes the first all-in-one pipe the portable durable pipe system is made for everyday cannabis enthusiasts with its refillable built-in lighter storage bowl and foldable pipe makes this device truly the most compact dry herb unit on the market um we're giving away a match pipe right now i feel like maybe tomorrow i'll probably be ready to do this draw you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a randomizer up. There's going to be a couple of things that we're going to be uh, doing draws for tomorrow that we'll, we'll be getting to. But um, if you want to get yourself in the draw right now, let us know what the contents are in the box. We've let you know mad times. We're not telling you videos. tonight. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're keeping that shit to. That's a secret tonight. Go watch the other videos. Last week's video, <laughs> week before, we've showed you what's inside the box. So let us know what's in the box. Um, and we'll put you in the draw to be able to win one of these for free. I'm pretty sure the last fucking seven weeks we've been telling you what's in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know I have. So Facts. And also, if you don't want to enter the draw and you just want to buy one, but you want to get a discount, um, let them know the discount code. WLHH2O. Scene. So hit them up. Um, use that code WLHH2020 um, so you can get yourself a... 10% discount or 20% discount my bad yeah, why would it be 2-0 and you only getting a 10% discount I'd be Vix what what type of fucker is this what type of bamboozling is going on around here talk about yeah it's a it's a code for 20% off but I've only received 10% off but yeah big big up match pipes they, yes you, facts you know what I'm saying Um, hit them up on their Instagram match pipes they have trays also yeah yeah like, that's, they have that, other rolling the, other than the lighter they have a tray they have trays too and you'll be getting that and hand when grinder we, yeah and the, oh you know what I have the card grinder sorry here too. Friday just that they have other things you know what I mean like, yeah 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 yeah. so when we're doing when the I, giveaway I'll show you in a second when we're doing the giveaway we'll be giving away more than just the package itself we get the the, um, the tray the hand grinder all that good shit see now right? you're adding on to it we should you should just let them see it when it comes to their exactly. door exactly and then they get a big surprise and they got extra things well, match, well make sure to hit up their website matchpipes.com theme um let's get to the top six top yeah, six so tracks nice. it's a good list this week Fire. yeah 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 it's a lot of good um good music there yeah, you know, I, I ain't mad, I ain't mad, I ain't mad. And, you know, um, a lot of good songs that came out, period, you know what I'm saying? Even the ones that didn't make it in the top six, the, we have a very healthy list of honorable mentions here to, to mention as well. So, number six, the legend Adam Bomb, The Grey. Fire. Mm -hmm. Adam Bomb is one of my is one of my favorite rappers though. I won't lie. Yeah, man, bars on top of bars on that one too. Like he for like, and I'm not trying to say for a white guy, he's got fire. He can spit like white, black, Chinese. He can spit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Woosha is all I have to say. Yeah, man, and the video he's over there in Christie Pitts. You know what I'm saying? He's showing the fan stomping grounds. Yeah, man. Shout out to, to Adam Bomb. Shout out to, to Natural Born Strangers. And I said, what do you know about the pits in the 80s? Huh? <laughs> Bucketville, we used to call the, the, uh? the pits. You know what I'm saying? What do you know about the pits in the 80s? The man got hard with it. His voice got a little deeper. <laughs> <it> was <laughs> and that's three-time alumni right there, too. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but big up to Adam Bomb. Yes, that's the fam. Number five. DBX2 Featuring Jason Pax, Gothic. 
clip I don't walk with no extra rounds, no muffle on it That thing makes a heavy sound Toss it in the lake, right after I shell them down Take a quick shower, change, buy another pop Fire track, another fire Fuck track Mm-hmm Three verses, Yo. and I was engaged for all three Yep The man said yep. what? Hit him with the poon, throw it in the lake, take a quick shower, go buy another one. Yo. <laughs> Yo, listen. I'm not trying to promote the violence, but goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> one thing with that guy, I'll say two things. One, the flow switch, fucking fire. From verse oh, yeah, one to, for, not even from verse one to two. Like, in the verse one, he switches flows, that was fucking fire. Second thing, that, what you just described there, throw it in the lake, da 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 the other song that he did before, he does that describing, you know, um, put the put it in the clip, select it, let it go. I'm like, he has a very descriptive, very yeah. He breaks down shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 yo, I dig listen it. to me, the man. Ever since the first track, he came on with traffic. Mm. The man said, "Yo, tuna can." Jail time, put it in a sock, run up in his house and blam it. Bro. That's this description. Bro. Bro. Two in the can. What? I, don't, I know I'm fucking up the lyrics, but yo, you get the gist of it. I can see it. <laughs> yo, the man said two in the can in a sock, run in his cell and blam him. Ouch. You understand what I'm saying? War time. But yeah, man. Both of, and, and Jason Pax come through oh. fire verse. You know what I'm saying? Jason, he comes with the fire too. Yeah, the yeah, same yeah, pattern. Yeah. It's the same pattern. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So big up both of them, big fucking tune, and big up Edmonton, you know what I'm saying? Deadminton, that's what them call it. AKA Deadminton, AKA Ilminton. Um, number Foul, also I was alumni. Really happy that made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, also alumni. Hoodlum, top app. My homie did some whole shit, so he got rolled off. I was shooting out the window when we rolled off. I ain't a rapper, you should troll off. Long nose. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of that guy. I've but, been a fan since the beginning. But but that track is fire. Mm. Like I'm like you're getting better. I'm so proud of you. Yeah yeah yeah. That's what it is for me. Mm. I, I don't know. I've been a fan yeah. since before. When he's like, yo, I got cash. What I need a debit for? <laughs> Niggas want my head. What you think I got the medal for? Hey. Yo, bro. Oh, big bar. Yo, and that this <laughs> times he was like. I want to say 15, 16 years old, mm. young, young, young. You understand what I'm saying? Not, not hoodlum what he is right now today. Yeah, yeah. And that's like, like if, he's with, hoodlum. if he's coming with those bars, I, like, bro, that's like. Yeah, and it, he, he's, he's in the pocket tighter and tighter from, from song to song. So. Drive by, we walk up and blast shots. <laughs> bro, I'm sorry. I'm not promoting the violence. I'm sorry. It's just the lyrics. They're taking me. But well, that should be fire. <laughs> But yeah, man, big up Hoodlum, you know what I'm saying? Check out for his interview also on our channel, you know what I'm saying? Dope, dope interview that we had with him a couple years ago now. Oh, what a year. Um, top three. And yeah, man, this is all selected by the people, by the way. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing depending on the numbers. The people came out super strong, so common gang scrum. Mula first, no pressure. Back when I didn't have couches or cable. So I looked to the streets. How was I supposed to put food on the table? Bought me a phone and be Scene. What you say? You're feeling that Gooch? <laughs> I hear Gooch in the back. Yo, that's hard. <laughs> Yo, sometimes I'm bougie, sometimes I'm ghetto. I'm bougie ghetto. Yo, listen to me. What is that? Older track? No, that's the. But he said to say he used he dropped that line in the track, and then he's like, "Yo, I push weight because I wanted muscle." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Big up Mula first, also alumni. And his rhyme pattern in that in that track is pretty fire too. The way he's dropping the rhymes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up I'm, front, the Timmies, I real mean, Canadian vibe, you know. If you know, he's he's a little bit like slimmer than I am and stuff like that. If not, though. Oh, he's tight T gang for sure. If not, though, send on that jacket though. Friday, you always. <laughs> if you were my size, pause. I would have took that jacket off of you fast. No, don't no, say I'm that. I'm playing. But you would have let, let me get a borrow. You know what I'm saying? Oh gosh, <laughs> it's 1989, bro. Yo, cuz, let me, let me get that jacket wear. from you, cuz. Let me get a one wear, fam. In the mic, in the mic, in the mic. Ah, whatever. It's okay, Gutsy. We know. Um, but big up to um, Mula first. Yep. Big fucking tune. Number two, Dax. Book of Revelation. Crazy for looking for answers. I say they're crazy for knocking your proof. Vision is blurred. I'm over concerned. I'm looking to God to see. Yeah, it's a fucking alumni ass list. Sav, go for it. That video 
Okay, at first I was like, all the destruction, I'm tired of seeing it. All his videos have all this destruction in the background. I'm sick of it. Like, Got whatever. destruction on the brain. I'm mad. <laughs> but all of his videos are very elaborate. That's the thing. Here's the thing about this one. This is a good video. Mm. Very, very good video. Well put together. I can't wait for the next part. Yeah. Here. Can't wait. Because it says to be continued. He kept his shirt on in the whole video. <laughs> no shirt off shorty. <laughs> yes, sir. We understand. And he, we were watching it earlier. That's like the Book of Eli theme. No, mm-hmm. the Book of Eli is a serious movie. You're yeah, yeah, that yeah. movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he, the theme of the, his video, that's the same theme as Book of Eli. And if you listen to what he's saying, yeah, it's the book that's, of, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah, what he's saying. Yeah, so yeah. I was like... Yo, well, it's not, yo, not, it's not like it's off or not. Yo, yo, this is, we're in the last days, bro. Yo, the there's lo- yo, bro, there's locusts in Africa. Mm. Killer, like mad locusts, okay? They're not reporting this shit on the news. But yo, serious local, like the... The locusts, like that came, they eat everything. Yeah. They don't stop. They eat everything. Okay? Then, on top of it now, Jamaica, there's a river that's running red. Blood red. They don't know why. Scientists went, they fucking tested the water, mm. everything. The water lake is running through a port mirror. Port mirror. I posted on my stories. Yeah, I seen that. Yo, the ocean is not taking the water from the river. The river in the lake is just getting redder by the day. Mm. Okay, and it's not like someone went there and dieted. Some people may think it's that red algae or whatever, but the scientists test the water and they say yeah. they can't find a reason for the water to be running red like this. It's like a red, a blood river running through the center of Jamaica right now. And it's, when you see it, they show you. It's like a 10 minute video I posted. Yeah. They show you from the beginning, coming from the ocean side, where it's, the, the river starts from the ocean and goes through, and you see it, it's all red. And, you, there's none of it leaking into the ocean. Mm. Nothing. It's the it stops right at the river mouth at the end where the, where the ocean it stops and it it's it's crazy. It's nuts. Well, no one can say, explain it. So you're saying Dax Dax is he's he's, he's telling the the prophecies. Bro, this <laughs> when you, when you go back to all the Dax's rhymes together, you're gonna be able to hear the story of Wild Guan. Yeah, it may be. It's mm-hmm. like The Simpsons. Big main, big, uh, the big mains, the Baines, the McMain guy, the character, the fake Arnold Schwarzenegger guy. Every mm-hmm. time you see a clip, that's one long movie. Mm. Over 30 seasons. That's one long movie well, that they put into the show. Well, big up to Dax, man. Yeah, man. Big up to Dax. Oh, yo, listen to me. Like I said, his videos are always, always elaborate. Yeah. There's always a message or story, something. And he always plays, you know, sometimes double parts, triple yeah, parts. Yeah, and there's like mad actors in there and yeah. explosions and all crazy shit. Budget. But number one. <laughs> P for keeps. I think it's play for keeps. Or play for keeps. No, I'm, I'm just saying. P for keeps. I'm made mm-hmm. for the shit. The ass paid a lot. Don't need to brag. Every month I'm popping some tags. What? Head tap wet. That. I'm gonna go flip that net. That. Pick 30 got that. That's what I would think it would be. Yeah. Mm. I don't really know. Play for keeps. I, that's what, I don't know. I might be mm-hmm. just stretching it. Mm. But well, I, I see P for keeps written here. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. That's what But when I see that, you know how people, whatever. Yeah. Play for keeps. Big up the Common Gang on that. You know what I'm saying? Common Gang came out super, super strong. Um, hella ski masks in there but he doesn't keep the ski mask on all the way through so he, he switches up ski mask sometimes no ski mask other times so you know we got to see who he is <laughs> and he's got a lot of bars you know what i'm saying a lot of fucking bars uh, i'm feeling that right there i think the reason why the ski mask came off is because the dreads were hanging out the ski mask <laughs> so i figure he's, he's like oh fuck it i might as well because they already know i have dreads we know who i am you know if you are gonna know so i might as well that's just me Drawing at strings. It was like so? the next. It was like the next shot right after that. Mm. No ski mask. Yeah. Like yeah. the one before that, he had the ski mask on. The little bit of dreads was showing. Yeah. And then bam, when the the uh, scene switched, no ski mask. He was just barring it down. Bottle of Henny. I could feel your brain working. Cause I like that video. <laughs> 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 I like that video, and I was like, that was. Remember, I was telling you, my Instagram was stuck. I was. Just, <laughs> I was trying to get to the their YouTube the YouTube link, mm. and every time I clicked it, it just kept replaying the beginning of the song over and over again. So when I heard it, I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is song! Oh my god, I know the words." It's a sign, <laughs> but it's it's good. It was it's engaging. That's what it is because you you it's like always a flash to a different scene. It's like a video. It's mm. good. It's so good. yeah, man, big up uh, P Four Keeps or Play for Keeps. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's his name. Let's just say P for Keeps, okay? Big fucking tune. Um, well, number one, congratulations. Yes. Honorable mentions. Six or Sis 
um, and Frizz Price closer. Uh, Swavy loaded up. Drizzy Drake went to say and Chicago freestyle. Slim De Niro, Stunner Man 2. No, I don't pass the ball. Boy, this ain't basketball. No, she ain't my type. I could be the pussy like Fight Night. Prince, The Voice, Lil Bandcamp, But I Did, Rebel, Go Fast. I just want to go fast with the keys. Baby, I didn't get my heart to the fiends. Yeah. Slack. Um, Rosalvo, no limit. Grizzy Guap came up. Goldie London, whoa. Cash, spend it, then I make it back, back. Louis V up on my tail when a bad bitch present. Some more than just a ten. Young Tory and JC. Ooh, uh, Ernie Woodlow, right touch, um, representing Vancouver. Snooty Nose Res Kid, or Snotty Nose Res Kid. <laughs> I was dying. Snooty Nose. I was like, these names are amazing. Ooh, Snotty Nose friend. Res Kid. Oh, yeah, man. I was like, okay. Oh, That's a great name. Mm-hmm. Snooty Nose Res Kid. Um, Vancouver. Vancouver. Uh, um, track is called Real Deadly. Oh, Come to Belicious. Them haters talking. I blow them kisses real deadly. Um, Quadro, Wosi, Week Nine. Not Quadro from um. No, no, oh. not not from um Ghetto Concept. Oh, okay. Um, Week Nine, last night, Tona. What I played at the top of the show, Links. Like ghetto safe haven. Fact that nigga here, that shit amaze. Homies went from trapping in the days to empowering black. Um, Rajon, Freddy Krueger, Hood Nines, Walking Lick, um, Sway Act, Don't. It don't be blowing up my phone when you're alone, sipping on Patron. Actions that lit OT North, B, um, Robbie S. Laugh, Loso, Flossin. We talking money here, I count it plenty. Brody hit me up, so we going OT. Huh? He said, bring it lean, Brody, I got the weed. Okay, okay. The club. Kasky TV, um, Kasky TV, or Kasky. TV, uh, Mitchell Bailey, Roxanne, um, AB Ravel, Lotus. Hey, reminisce and bow, going back to that time frame. What's a part of time going back to the park days? Back in a hu- and lexicon, the Don Don, uh. the Don Don, six views alumni <laughs> scene. Um, I got a, I got a, I got a little something, something here. What's going on? What's in the cut? Let me see. Um, news stories. Quick, quick news story I want to hit too before we before we get to some shit here, um, or before we get to our break. There was a leak of Drake songs, like a full album. So what? A hard drive got stolen. What happened? Phone get lost. What happened? Um, from what I heard, <laughs> from sources close to Rick. <laughs> um, that those are not the real songs. They're not on, there's only one so I, okay so uh, okay so there were like those are probably like tester tracks they were working on they said they're not making the album cuts there's not, not an internal cuts. leak so someone just what made these tracks up well some of those songs were songs that were already floating around on the internet like the the future song um desire was already floating around there's the full song to the um, the one there over the jay-z beat there uh what when to say when okay Right, there's the full song of that and the Chicago freestyle, there's the full song of that. There's the Bryson Tiller one that I was playing at the beginning of the show. Uh, which one? Hundred times or something. Hundred times, or there's an Usher song that's on there too. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. The only thing is that they're saying only one of those songs, and this is just But which one? From what I heard, right? One of the songs. But which one? <laughs> that's the question. But which one? That's the question. Which one is it? Which one is it? Yeah, that's right. X Files. <laughs> so, oh, did you hear the smiley one? I sent you the smiley one. There's a smiley one too. You got his on the set like fire, fire, fire. You sent me the fire. You know what? I'm gonna play it here. I'm, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run out from when I what I sent you. I was trying to find it earlier. Um, in my emails and shit like that, cause but I sent so many emails to myself. I'm like, where the fuck did I? Toronto ambience, that's right. Toronto ambience, like a motherfucker. Where you know where you heard that first. Archangel Michael. We love hip hop. Toronto ambience. Mm. 
Now I can't even find a fucking thing. What did I send it to you on WhatsApp? Probably. Did I send it to you on WhatsApp? I want to find it. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you sent it to me. Oh, I think you wanted to send it to me, but you didn't send it to me. Oh, I know where I sent it to you. Bam, 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 bam. I DM'd it to you. I'm going to find that for you right oh, now. I get to hear some exclusive man like Smiley. Let me find our little conversation here that we had. I got so many fucking DMs in here. Here it is. Organization is called. Organization skills? Oh! Oh, it's gone. Can't find on SoundCloud. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Is that the, is that the real song? <laughs> Did we just crack the code? Did we just break the matrix? <laughs> Did we just break the matrix? Yo. Okay, so there's a leak that went out. Yep. It's, it's, there's people Gonzo. labeling it 2020 leaks. There was 14 songs at least that came out. It's different selections of songs too. You see? Mm. You're supposed to rip that from the internet. Oh, God. When you've seen that, you're supposed to rip that. You know when people rip that from the internet quick? You're going to hear people <laughs> driving around the city. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, how do you think I played the intro song? Ah, ah, I just didn't guy. take that smiley song. That smiley song wasn't in the list of songs that I had. So maybe that's the real one. Mm. Let's ask the, the comment gang. Comment gang, out of those songs, because I know enough of y'all motherfuckers heard it. Don't even try to fucking front like, you know, I ain't heard this. Yeah, I feel weird. You know what I'm saying? I feel weird without the mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the listening people. <laughs> <laughs> For the, sorry. For, we'll the switch. Pe- for the people in the no, listening okay. audience who, who, I have to get used to it. Who, are, who are watching on YouTube, <laughs> oh, we got like new equipment and shit like that. We got lav mics and shit. So Herc's got one of the lav mics We're on. testing him, you know? You He's a tester. <laughs> he doesn't have a mic up in his face this week. You know what I'm saying? I'm just used to the... <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nothing's blocking you. Now That's they can like just my see little you dead on. My little comfort, my little safety cage if, uh, if need be, you know? No. Hey, oh, 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 get your two clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the only person that's too close is me. is me. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do over here. We got loud mics and shit. Have. I know. I'm you just know, playing. The, the biggest network. No, I'm just just chill. Friday. The man jumped the shark. <laughs> Yo, when I, listen to me. When I was watching that, I'm like, okay, here we go. I see Friday. Once I see him, I'm like, okay, star. And then I see him. We love hip hop. And I'm like, okay. All right, but let's not go back there. Let's not go back there. Let's stay on this, this topic here. <laughs> I'm just saying. You do try to get away from it. I know, because this is. One. The boy. Mm-hmm. What about the boy? Are you? Did anybody else hear any of these leaks, or am I the only one who heard these leaks? I Gutsy. didn't get to hear them. Hmm? Guts heard them. Gutsy. Forward, I'm the guy forward. who didn't hear them. Fard, fard, fard. Gutsy, 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 I think they're all real tracks. I don't you think they're all It's all Captain Gutsy, 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 Somebody in the sweatshop got Vex. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Because, because hey. Hot, hot take. Yes. Next door, did hot Party take. Next Door drop hot, his hot, album? Because he was supposed to drop yeah. his album. His album hasn't dropped. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying Drake's like, fuck Party Next Door. But, you know, maybe Party Next Door said, yo, fam, like, can I, can I drop feet? Mm. And he just, he probably just leaked the one too. And said, yo, they, they just said, let, let, let's see how, you know, let's see, let's see how the city respond to it. Let's see what the people say. Yeah. Oh, we're not getting the... This guy with X-Files. You found it! <laughs> so what it Keep going. What else you got to say about this, Guts? Well, I'm yeah, no, no, the tracks were fire, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, fire! 80% of the songs I heard, I was like... Yo. I was feeling them. Yeah. Like, Drake, put that out, bro. Regardless. Just put that out as Lucy's. Mm. <laughs> Yo, just title it Leak 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. And Dude, drop it, bro. They're gone, though. All those leaks, yeah, yeah. they're that gone. Up, I they're guarantee gone. you, they're gone into their possession. Yeah, <laughs> I'm guaranteeing it's gone into their well, possession. I, I'm telling you, he's gonna look at the ones that had the most numbers, and those are the ones that are hitting the album. Gutsy guts. Like I said, 
just drop the mixtape, you know, just drop something in the middle of the night like you did when, you know, if you're reading this, it's too late. Drop mm. something like that, you know, like. If you're boom. downloading it, it's too late. Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. Oh, there you go, Friday. If you're downloading it, it's too late. No. Title! Hey. If you're looking for it on SoundCloud, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the cloud is, is evaporated. Oh, man. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get off of this with the guy who's wearing the OVO sweater. Uh, I'm, I don't. There's another ticket giveaway we were also doing. Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. It's time to get live, 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 live like a wire. And also proud to say, we love hip hop alumni. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sticky, we, we, I hope you bring the thumb drives this time. We didn't get the thumb drives last time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to get the part two going on. Yes. Um, But yeah, Onyx giveaway. We're giving away 10 tickets for that one. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Shit, okay. Big up the 90 nickel, you know what I'm saying? Um... Alumni. Alumni also. Peter Jack. There's going to be special guests at that thing too. JD Era is supposed to be performing. Alumni. Alumni. Young Stitch. Alumni. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Zay's not alumni. Not yet. Anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, that's going to be over at the Music the music Hall Concert Theater in Oshawa, 39 King Street East. They're also performing at Lee's Palace down here. I don't remember the address of Lee's Palace, but that's up on Bloor Street there by, by Bathurst. Um... 10 sets of tickets, same rules as, as the, um, the other contest. Let us know. And this one has an episode number, has the season number. Let us know what the season number and the episode is for the Onyx interview that we did. And who's wearing the spoiled smokers toque? Mmm, good one. Fire. Hey. Yeah, who's wearing the spoiled smokers toque in that fucking thing? And let us know that you shared it. You know, share that shit to somebody. Let people know that we have a pretty sick interview with Onyx still. You know what I'm saying? My 13 year old inner self was going crazy. He was like, you were that, was my live? Favorite, that was my live? favorite rap group when I was 13 to, 15, to 16. They're still a favorite artist of mine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah, man. And that was also a legendary interview. It was. Um, last thing I want to mention before I hit the break, um, as far as announcements going on in the city, International Women's Day is going on, but International Women's Month is happening right now, right? Savvy? Women in the room? Why you did that? Bam! Well, okay. I'm going to do this because there's a lot of fucking different things going on, so I'm not going to go through all the, the, the descriptions of the different things, but... It's Sunday. Sunday night, there's an all-women's event, right? Um, that's over at 423 College Street at the hideout, okay? So that's the Queen of Spades showcase. Oh, but nice. there's other things that are going on before that. Okay, excuse me. I don't, I'm going to interrupt you. It's, mon- it's, it's Sunday, okay? International Women's Day is on Sunday. Is that when the day... Yes, it's on Sunday. But isn't there a whole month? Well, we're women, so we just take over a month sometime, I guess. If y'all just only if get it, one it is, day, that's whack. Uh, it probably starts, maybe that's the beginning of the month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit, y'all should get a whole month. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I stand with y'all. Um, also on Saturday. Thanks, Friday. We appreciate you. <laughs> I stand with y'all. Because you know, uh, Sam has so you know much we're extinct, conviction. you know? Hey, so much yeah. conviction in that. Y'all, y'all deserve like more, sh- more proper shit. Um, but Saturday is also March seventh. There's a producers' corner um, industry panel um, that's going to be going on at the Basel Lounge, three twenty Queen Street, and that's at three p.m. And there's one more thing I want to say for, for I got Friday. One thing I want to talk about something going on too. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Rich Kid is talking at Lala McQuaid in Brampton tonight, mm. and then on the fourteenth, he's again talking. La- it's free all ages if they're talking music industry production stuff like that so rich kid he's a producer and a rapper in the city Mm -hmm. so yeah and alumni to the show but yeah like i said tonight if you're in brampton around where the law mcquade is he's there talking giving a talk and then on march 14th he's giving another talk at another law mcquade but it's um i can't remember the address right now but it's in the city it's not in Brampton. This the one like, downtown here. I think maybe the one on Bloor Street, but it may be another one. I'm not. We'll put the proper address up. If I'm not mistaken, that's like 954 Bloor. Okay. Because I'd be well, around there enough. You know what I'm saying? At the Lao McQu- on the 14th of March. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up the fucking rich kid. You know what I'm saying? And um, somebody, can somebody grab our, our guest downstairs, please? 
And um, big up to um, to all the ladies that are going to be representing in all these different events going on for International Women's Day and, you know, International Women's Week or however much. Week, month, day. You know what Listen, I'm saying? If you're Women if, deserve it more, but, you know. Then just show it any day you can. Exactly. Facts. You love your mommy, right? You love your mom? That's all. Show respect to women. Super duper facts. Um, our guest is getting here. Let's 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 take a quick break here. I got a track here by um, Anthony Champion. This track is called Priceless. <laughs> Sad. Uh huh. Yes. yes. <laughs> what it is. Right, you got you. Hey. 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 I put them on game. Are you sure? My nigga be the nicest. Shorty know I hustle, but she said that she don't like it. And we don't. Okay, so, so our, our smoke and mirror segment is basically our news segment where we, you know, we, we did touch on a few different news things in the interview segment. Yeah. yeah. But this is where we talk about weekly news, mm. hip hop news. We go global, yeah. And we try to stay local, all right. right? And for the people who are just tuning into the smoke and mirror segment now in the listening audience, yeah. We got Richie Sosa in the motherfucking building. Stuck in frozen crates, every day is like Toronto versus Golden State. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as in the news, there was um. <laughs> let me get to my list here, because I want to make sure that um. We get to the to the to the right things first here. Fifty Cent says he will be executive producing Pop, Pop Smoke's new album. album. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's big. <clears throat> That's or he's big. look he's looking to do it. You mm. know what I mean? And Pop Smoke's manager jumped in like he 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 put up an Instagram post, you know, letting people know his thoughts. You know mm. what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people heard. What this. did he say? He said he wants to he you know from taking in Pop Smoke's music and stuff like that. Mm. He wants to jump on to finish up the album that he started. Oh, but what did man the manager say? He put he put a thumbs up in there. Okay, okay, okay. Manager's down with it. Manager's down. With it. Mm-hmm. But do you think Fifty Cent's just doing it to capitalize off the man's hype of his death? Oh, but Fifty Cent mm-hmm. was actually, you know what? You know what? Mm-hmm. Fifty Cent was one of the only dudes. I remember he was. Where was he? I think Ebro. Not is it Ebro? The guy with the big beard with the well, beard yeah, down the middle. Yeah, Ebro. He's on Ebro, and then <clears throat> he says something, and then Ebro says something, and Fifty says some says something like, "Whatever, man. I don't hear you guys playing no pop smoke in here." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. And I'd already been listening to Pop Smoke. My homies put me on him, and I was like, "This guy's sick. This kid's he's, he's spitting." You know? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then when Fifty said, it, I was like, "Oh, finally, someone says something." Because I don't understand why this guy didn't. Like, it's like <clears throat> there's there's still that little Guardians of the Galaxy vibe where they just stop people from getting into the yeah, yeah the gatekeepers yeah, 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 they, yeah they don't yeah. let people in. So they were doing that to him in the beginning, and eventually they couldn't. No, cause I'm not. Anymore. I'm just asking. I'm not trying to be rude or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm just asking if that's what. If, if it's genuine, like he just wants because he fucks with pop smoke and he likes the music. He did before, right? like, like from from before. So like, yeah, I, 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 I I'll never forget that. And he's always been a strong advocate of anybody coming out of New York that he doesn't have problems with. And he's always that's what I was gonna say too, right? right? He's, he's always, like, always connected himself to the young up and coming <clears throat> artists as well. Yeah. Like if you all remember the the Soldier Boy. Um, 50 Cent source cover or double XL yeah, cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he connects himself to the to the young guys. Even like for like Takashi Snitch Nine. Yeah. When he was hot, 50 was like, "Yo, that's my son. It that's kills, my son." It, honestly, it kills me every time you say that. I don't know. I can't give him the. I can't give him his, no no real name no more. But yeah, it's yeah. like you know, 50 knows how to to, to keep yeah. his, his his ear he on the pulse. He did what he's doing with Jay Z. Did Jay Z did the exact same thing. Mm. Jay Z did the exact same thing. He was he he snatched up. I know a lot of he snatched up man. He snatched up. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then there came a time where he just he's so big, like he 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 might jump on features, but he wasn't like really cold sign like that. Yeah. Like 50 50 took over that mantle of being the New York guy that cold signs. Who's who's up next? Yeah, because yeah, he's a New York rapper. That's Pop right. Smoke was a New York guy. That's so right. It's like yeah, it's bigging up my whole the whole of New York. So mm. yeah, yeah. So R.I.P. Pop Smoke. And yes, Pop most Smoke. definitely R.I.P. Pop, Pop Smoke. Pop, they haven't yeah. found. They said there's. They haven't found it, his killers or anything like that. Mm. There's, yeah. there's, there's, the, the investigation in L.A. Like, I doubt they're gonna find him. Well, they said the 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 one thing they said is that the emergency call came from New York. Yeah. 
Well, he got shot in LA or whatever. He probably called one of his homies and his homies. I think somebody, uh, when, when we spoke about this when that happened, like I think somebody in the house made a call. Yeah. Type of thing. What but, it, yeah. Next story that we have here. Flavor Flav has gotten kicked out of Public Enemy. <laughs> I see that, yeah. Chuck D fired Flavor Flav from Public Enemy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? mm-hmm. yeah, but those guys go back how many years? <laughs> those guys are what, 50, 50 year brethren? Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Yeah. Yo, the man smoked crack and stayed in the group. Yeah. Like, so. Boom. So he, he smoked crack. Mm-hmm. He stayed in the group throughout the whatever fucking 30, 40 fucking year career that these guys had, right? Mm. He. I guess public enemy radio is what um, Chuck D is calling the thing that's in help endorsing yeah. Bernie Sanders. Okay. All right? Yeah. And, and because, he, because public enemy radio, and I keep on saying that with the quotations, because mm-hmm. it's not public enemy, mm-hmm. it's public enemy radio. Mm-hmm. He's like, that supports Bernie Sanders. But Flav is like, nah. nah I'm, I support, I fuck with Trump. Is that what he's saying? Nah, he's like, I don't fuck with Bernie. I'm just, oh. don't, don't put my name on that yeah, shit. I don't yeah. fuck with Bernie. Don't put my name on that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Chuck is trying to run it like it's a, it's it's, a public enemy radio. Uh, separate see, from yeah. public enemy, the group and the entity. Exactly. It's public enemy radio. Yeah. It's right? a different entity. Yeah. Yeah, but Flav, Flav is like, nah, nigga, that's still public enemy. I don't yeah. know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah, you yeah, try yeah. to think by putting the word radio at the end. If you made it Chuck D radio. Yeah, that would mean like yeah. Chuck, Chuck D of public yeah. enemy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, the yeah. Public, you know what I mean? Chuck D, the public enemy radio, whatever. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But just to be like, oh, yeah, I put radio at the end. No, nah, nigga, I've known you how many years. Yeah. And with all that, that would happen said, with any group. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. What's Gutsy got to yeah. say? Let's hear what Chuck Gutsy Chuck D owns the rights to the group, though. He does. He owns it. And supposedly, he said that he was just trying to tell Flavor Flav to fix up, and Flavor Flav just hasn't fixed up over the last year or so. But I think that's bullshit. I think it's more what years. I think it's more. Okay, so what you're saying to that, because he, in in the backlash and all the back and forth that's been going on in the news articles, mm. he's like, Flavor Flay's been still smoking crack and rain. Flavor Flay said he's sober for 10 years. Thank you. Yeah. So, like, that's not cool if, if Chuck D's saying that the man smoking and he's not. <laughs> throwing dirt on his name? Yeah. Well, he's throwing crack he, on he, his he, name? He crack. <laughs> yeah, 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 crack. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, man. Like, all I'm saying is... Sprinkle a little crack on a nigga name? Yeah, sprinkle a little crack on his name. Let's get out of here. He might not be smoking crack. He's moving a little crackish. He's crackish. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? He's a little crackish. He smoked for a long time, man. Yeah. And then with all that loving, with the flavor of love shit, he didn't mm. kick him out through none of that shit. Well, that's the thing. When I jumped on Star's show the other day, mm. I talked about that, right? He, didn't he kick him out the group back then? Because there was a scene in Flavor Love, or not Flavor Love, The Surreal mm. Life. Yeah. Where he and Bridget Nielsen went backstage on a fucking public enemy show. And they were, and Bridget Nielsen was acting a fool. Yeah. And from there, Chuck was already done with this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought it was... And, uh, but but then I seen him. I, I seen him at Rebel, and Flav was on stage killing shit. I was like, "All right, everything yeah, but crisp." Also, but uh, also too, like, back to the theme, smoke and mirrors, right? Like mm. they want to, they anything that says Public Enemy is good yeah. for them, right? That means their song gets put in another movie. Yep. They get a little, another little check, maybe a commercial. You know what I mean? Like th- everything. Like this thing now is probably just probably. The man had like a little link with the Bernie Sanders campaign because this is campaign time, so they're spending money. money. They, they're throwing money. I just heard you hear about Bloomberg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the man was spent the bag five hundred million? Was he was was Chuck compromised for the bag? Probably. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Probably. He probably got some money to endorse Bernie, Bernie Sanders on mm-hmm. his radio for the mm-hmm. platform mm-hmm. for the black. That's right, get the black vote. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then and and things like hey hey no nah, no nah. I didn't <laughs> see none of that money. Facts. <laughs> you, you know Chuck, what I'm saying? How Where's much? my Where's my cut? Yeah. Ch- Chuck, how much would it cost for you to fight the power? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fight the power, that me. Uh, fight the power. Oh, Bernie Sanders? Yeah, man. Yeah, you heard, you heard Bloomberg and the you heard about 500 million. So Bloomberg spent 500. I, heard That's what you're saying. I, I think Trump just said 700 the other day. Wow, people are saying 500. Okay, well, I've seen the thing where they said 500, 500 million. Even if it's 500. It's a lot of money. Even, even if it's 100 million, just a lot of money. Right, so on advertising, yeah, and you seen him, you seen him about stop and frisk in New York, where he's like, yeah, all those black and Latinos that can't keep a job, they know what they're doing, da da da. Those are the people that need to. He said a bunch of stuff, right? I'm paraphrasing, mm, yeah. but it's not far from 
from what he actually said. Yeah. So he says all this, and so now he's getting backlash, right? He's another billionaire trying to come sweep away, you know what I mean? The so title. he basically tried to buy his way into the presidency. But now I'm, I'm driving on the street, I'm listening to Kevin Hart on satellite, and he has, Bloomberg has a whole big, I don't know, 45 second commercial talking about how he's going to help black people earn generational wealth and how he's going to, yeah, it's crazy. We're Kevin, we're, we're, on the Kevin Hart station. On Kevin Hart station. Ooh, Kevin Hart took the it's bag. It's 96 on satellite. Kev took the bag. Right? So, so on that station, that's it's what I hear. I hear him asking everything. CNN, Fox, I listen, I mean, just for fun. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And like, that's the only station I heard that, that camp that, that add on. And wow. it's all about black people and Latino people and brown people. And so there's bags going around. That's of right. Big money going around. Money. Big money. You didn't see them out here, 700 million? You know, mm-hmm. everybody got a piece of that bag. And he just stepped down Spl- too. Yeah, and everybody then he endorsed, the then he endorsed, endorsed Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he was talking mad shit about Bernie Sanders. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got some tea here. Um, Nicki Minaj. Oh yeah, gosh. Her, 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 husband her husband got arrested by the the feds for not registering, registering as yeah. a sex offender. That's yeah. something you didn't expose to Nicki. No, well, she, she, knew. She, knew. she knew. She knew. She married a sex offender? Yeah, he's a pe- pedophile. Wow. It's sad from he the left. Where the money happened to her brother? <laughs> yeah. Look what just to her brother. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this, is, this is not new news. Wow. Yeah. That's that, new. That, that no. It's just he didn't check in. Mm. Wow. He got roped for not checking in as a sex offender? Yeah. Mm. yeah she knew? Yeah. She knew? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let me try to pull up this article here. here. Yeah. Then, 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 then how she can say she's not defending her brother then? She didn't defend her brother. Remember she was saying she didn't defend her brother before the charges, right? All right, so I got a TMZ article here. Prosecutors wanted wow. Petty's, um, play, uh, Petty placed on house arrest, but his attorney... Obje- oh, actually, is this the beginning of the article? Okay, so... Damn, son, that's not... That's not... Petty just appeared in court and pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors wanted Petty placed on house arrest, but his attorneys objected, and instead, Petty was being required to wear an ankle monitor. He also um, has a curfew. Petty's lawyer says um, he's going to po- um, he's going to post a $100,000 bond later today, and this is as of uh, the 4th. Okay. Right? This is fucked up. Um, Petty will also be under um, pre um, pretrial, sorry, pretrial supervision, and has already surrendered his passport. His travel will be restricted to South California. Petty is also charged, um, also can't use drugs, um, even marijuana from legal dispensaries in LA. He has another hearing scheduled for March twenty third. Um, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. This nigga's in some hot water. No, but I'm, I'm just like, I'm still thinking about how Nikki. <laughs> I agree, because I was like, what? Because what, the two months ago, her, her brother just got sentenced for what he did to a 12 year old girl. Mm-hmm. And now you're going to turn around and marry a registered sex offender? Mm-hmm. He didn't even register. But he yeah, they, were, even, they both, the, actually, both those cases came out at the same time in the news. Yeah, well, it, was, it was just like I forget which one. I think the brother was first because he's been fighting a charge for a minute, and then after wow. Meek, then she finds this guy. And it was like, yo, this guy, the guy who did this, this, that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like old news that he yeah. has those types of things, but yeah. they try to make it like it wasn't no real. It's not what, the same type of thing. Type of thing, statutory. I don't know. But they still, try to clean it up somehow. That, but um, nonetheless, I don't know the, specific the facts mm. that the boy them came. For you for not registering as a sex offender that's nuts <laughs> smells fishy fam smells fishy that's crazy i don't want to you know kick nikki in her back while she's already down but <laughs> jesus christ that's nuts that's not a good look girl mm-hmm. um are we having a tow truck war that's i don't know if, if you, i've been hearing about that stuff for years if you, but just now it's escalating to firearms before it was they're shooting each other over this hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. i've been hearing about that shit in richmond hill is a well, let's go back up let's go back to it let's go back to what it was uh last I think it was last summer beginning or the end of summer mm. they had a big project there was a raid they fought guns and they arrested a couple of tow truck drivers involved Mm. They're saying because drug trafficking and tow truck. There's like it was weird because people were like, so how are the tow trucks involved? <laughs> That's the people were we, they didn't understand the connection between yeah. the gangs and this and that and the tow truck. They're like, how are the tow truck drivers involved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what they were saying. Yeah. And then it was like, tow trucks are being firebombed, and 
tow truck operators are being shot. Yeah. And like, yeah, like so. What are they warring over? What's the beef? Chasers. Oh, the blocks, yeah. The, Chasers. Yeah, like, we're the money. Money. accidents. It's about getting the cars? Yeah. It's about it's getting the wrecks. Yeah, so money. getting cars is that fucking serious, it's fam? Serious, it's bro, serious, it's big serious. money, bro. Huge money. Let's think about it like this. Okay. Yo! Yeah. Someone gets in a car accident. Is that like, it's like... told somewhere, like, insurance, and they have links with... Like, bro, listen to me. You so know the like, biggest... Getting cars is like flipping crack. Basically, yo, bro, the, the the way that the thing is, the, wow. it's not, it's, it's, they're saying it's one of the, the most unregulated industries. That's going, crazy. Tow trucking, right? <laughs> so basically, there's chasers. The man them just sit on the highway, and they listen to the scanner, and they wait for a wreck. And then they when they, they hear there's a wreck, mm. it's all hands all hands on deck. Yeah, who yeah, can yeah, get there yeah, and yeah, hook yeah. up the people first? Mm. They're showing you on the news like, yo, watch this. Before the cops get here, there's already three tow truck drivers. The one guy's wife is in the car with the people, talking to the people, trying to convince them to come with her tow truck. Yeah. The other guy is standing outside. There's yeah. another guy by the back. Yes. And then the boy them roll up and then they start scattering like cockroaches. <laughs> wow. I never realized right? it was that heavy. Yo, like that. So, it's so, big money. Richie, mm. did you see the last thing that they had? Wasn't it like yesterday or something? They had two things that I seen on the news. What's this? Or they fucking firebombed, or they try to fucking put the set, the set, the fucking the reconstruction unit place. No, or the ministry, the Ministry of Transportation that was on the news this morning. Both two ministries, one in uh, at J, uh, Western Road. They tried to set it on fire. Yeah, they smashed the glass, poured gas yeah. inside, and tried to let it. And set one it was up set on fire, fire, and the other one was <laughs> attempted set on fire. Yeah, <laughs> did you? But you see, the, <laughs> the tow truck drivers, they get lots. Yo, because here's the thing, like yo, oh. see if you get a tow truck. If you, if you get you break down in like Malton or fucking wherever I say Malton mm. right Gucci's just smiling mm. right so bomb you get picked up now mm. as you drive from from like there into Toronto you have to pay a fee mm. like to cross some imaginary line yeah, there's yeah. a fee there yeah. and then they take you so far and then yo bro they eat your food if you don't know what you're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. then they take you to the the to the um they're not supposed to take no money from you, mm. but they take you to the reporting center yeah. and they're supposed to get paid at the reporting center. Mm -hmm. So they convince you, whatever, blah, 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 hook up with me, whatever, come to my shop, you know, mm. it's like to get, basically to get you, to get the work, to mm. insurance, like you said, insurance, yeah. everything, it's big money. Yeah. Get the wrecks, like, no, don't go through their shop, come to my shop. Yeah. And you go to the insurance company and it's like, yeah, okay, boom, yeah. and they, oh, what, you want a rental? Bomb, yeah. rental, you need yeah, this, you bomb. Yeah. everything. And they're just eating food. Yeah. So that's why the tow trucking is so, it's so, it's so fierce. And yeah. then other companies have more trucks on the road than other companies. Mm. So it's like, man is really eating food. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Some so, of them are independent. And exactly, there are independents are all, also. Some of them or all of them? No. Majority. Majority, I would Majority, think. Majority, I think, are independent. Like, how many trucks can you... Like, you know, you start with one, right? And then, yeah, and then you build a fleet. Yeah. yeah. Right? But there's some companies out there, they have a fleet. They have trucks. Mm -hmm. You know wow. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this is so, what's going on. There's a war. It's like, if there is a war... It's like a game. It's 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 yeah. It's in between, it's a, that's crazy. I yeah, never realized it was that that was. It's that like a fraternity. Yeah. It's like a fraternity. It's like two frats. You know, they're going at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, well, listen. Since it's gang gang like that, I ain't got no smoke with y'all tow truck drivers. Yo. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm loyal to my one tow truck guy. I'm, you see that? I'm not bigging you up. Hey, but I'm, I'm bigging you up. I'm not gonna say anything because we don't want nothing to happen to you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? When I call him, I'm dead dead. Mm. Yo, listen to me. C yo. CAA left me stranded, okay? I called my brethren, he was there in fucking half an hour. Mm. After I sat in the fucking cold waiting on CAA for 45 minutes, eh? Mm. They left me, my brother, and my brethren stranded, mm. okay? And I already paid a man $150 by mistake. Cause he said, yo, give me a bill and I'll pull you off the car on the highway. Mm. And I fucking, my car broke down on the highway. Mm -hmm. My fucking drive shaft slipped out on the highway Holy. in the snowstorm. Yeah. First snowstorm of the year. Yeah. Or last year, actually, mm. my fucking thing, my, my mm -hmm. came out on the highway, mm. ramped into Toronto, about to hit the ramp, lose the power, snow, man, pull over, try to help At me. At least it was there, man. So all of a sudden, tow truck yeah. driver popped up out of nowhere. Bam. Yo, 100 bucks, I'll pull you off the highway. Because I'm like, yo, I got CAA. He's like, all right, well, you can't stay here because if you stay here, you'll get killed. Mm. I'm like, you know what? You ain't talking no shit. Yeah. So bam, 100 bucks, pull me off the road. I end up giving the man 150 because I wasn't even paying attention so cold. Yeah, here, take that. Yeah. I'm just, gone. 
there are 45 minutes waiting for CAA. Yeah. So then they told, then they, they, they fucked me over. They let, basically left me stranded. Yeah, I yeah, called yeah. my brother. He was there half an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, man, I'm coming. No problem. Uh, I should have just called him first. Yeah. yeah you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. because I have this company that I'm supposed to be paying into. Yeah. Well, shout out to the tow truck drivers out there, yo. <laughs> Stay safe. Yeah. yeah it's a dangerous, dangerous. Stay dangerous. Stay dangerous. Yo, there's only um, late night. Sorry, before you say. There's only a couple of things on the street in the late night, eh? Mm. The boy them, cabbies, and tow truck drivers. Yeah. Facts. True. Um, there's one thing here I got here. Meet the Toronto man who is spending 400 a month to live in his in live in a backyard yurt. What the? What's a yurt? So I was going to say it's like this a, is, a hut. Right? It's like a little hut. So it's like a little like a oh, wow. cubby He's or something. How much? 400. So, so Probably, uh, what? 400. 400. A month? 400 a month? A month, yeah. All right, so why, courtesy why of CBC doing? News. Um, with year? rent soaring and, um, and affordable mm-hmm. housing at short supply, one Toronto man has found a unique place to live, a yurt um, in his friend's backyard. Matt, who CBC News has chosen not to name because of the questions surrounding the legality of the, li- the living situation, has been living in a yurt in the city's West End since November. For oh, they're going to go hunting now. They're on the hunt. <laughs> for, for 400 a month, the seasonal <laughs> worker gets to erect his, um, pause, erect his 3,000 3, um, yurt. <laughs> Um, $3, or $3,000 yurt while also availing himself of utilities and his um, friends um, in his friend's home. Um, friends and family def- um, definitely expressed a little concern of the cold winter nights mm. <laughs> but didn't um, understand how warm and toasty a yurt can be. Mm. Yeah, it's like, it's like, a, it's they've, like been, they've been doing that though. Yeah, like I've seen ones in New York where they have the what is it, the, the garbage truck containers or whatever? <laughs> or a shipping container. Yeah. Watch the bed. And they have Wi-Fi in there and shit. Yeah, yeah but it's like a big, warm, it's, like a tent. This nigga's chilling. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a tiny home. Yeah, man. Yo, the man found a, the man found a loophole. The man's bed in his backyard is huge. He's like, yo, let me put up my thing right here. I'll pay Why you a couple. Why did he go on the news? Oh, he's gonna lose man. His home. Yeah, they're going to hunt him down, yo. They're so, going to hunt him down. <laughs> We're going to hear the news story. Yo, man. Mm-hmm. They came. They told me I had to take it down. It's illegal. I didn't have permits. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Ray, tay, tay. So, there's a story of a man getting arrested for collecting rainwater in the States. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they can't go to collect rainwater. <laughs> so they're the saying here, um, Matt told CBC News that he got a taste for living outside during a four-year cycling stint in North and Central America. He then tried living outside in Toronto one summer in a tent in the backyard of the home in the annex um, that his friends were renting. It's a lifestyle that suits him, he says. <laughs> He's one of those guys that will homestead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He likes living He's a homesteader. <laughs> He's a homesteader. He just hasn't made, he hasn't made this firm commitment. He's a homeless guy. a lot more people doing that, though. No, you know, he's a, he's a city slicker that has the heart of a fucking uh, outdoor man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, the man lives outside. See? The man's, he's faking it, right? Because he's outside in his brother's backyard. <laughs> so when he needs to go inside for warmth and bathe and whatever he yeah, needs to do, he can go do that. He doesn't have the solitude of being out in the woods deep mm. where you can't go link your brother when you're bored. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's homeless capping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's homeless capping. He's just paying. It's, it's a new flip on a B&B. It's an Airbnb <laughs> flip. That's all. <laughs> The man, oh, man. The, man, the man found a loophole. He's like, yo, a let yurt. me set this up in your backyard. Yeah. I'll pay you $400 a month. His man's thinking, yo, $400 extra a month? And all I got to do is let this guy in once in a while to shower or whatever. Yeah. Like, you don't even have to cut that part of the line. It's you like, understand what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. only for yo, what? It's only a couple of months. It's an extra, what? If he does it for three months, yeah. that's $1,200 extra. The man's caking for his brethren, sleeping in his backyard. Yeah. In a tent that you know what I'm saying, he yeah. probably would let him do it for free anyways. What's average rent in Toronto? Twenty one? Twenty five? About what? That. Yeah. Well, well, about f- that. Seventeen hundred. Yeah. Seventeen hundred for one bedroom probably after yeah. like hydro t- hydro fucking renters insurance yeah. and everything that they're throwing at you nowadays. Yeah. 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 Your life, bro. Your <laughs> Yo, the encampment. A lot of people doing that. Encampment life. They don't like that shit. But yo, mm-hmm. they're gonna hunt this guy down. Watch, we're, they're, we're gonna see a, a follow up story. Yeah. Well, the guy with the yurt, <laughs> the 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 um, yeah, probably trying to put some tax on it. Like, yo, the land, the zone people. But don't they have the to claim that now? Got, what you got there, guys? Just got shot. Oh God, that's oh, man. So that's, the fuck? No. that's who got shot when we when I we thought were someone leaving. got shot yesterday. Wow. Wow. 
That's who got shot wow. when we were leaving wow. on TP24. Oh, we'll, 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 yeah. We'll leave that up. That's crazy, man. Um, let's wrap it up. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> but yeah. The man's living in his backyard. The man finesse a fucking thing. The man said, yo, Bridget, let me set this up. up. I, he probably brought that back from his, his travels. <laughs> When he was in school, wherever. Your that's, life, nigga. That's when he figured it out. Like, yo, I could do this. I could do this. Yo, I'm going to bring one of these back when I go home to Canada. He probably tried to set up in his parents' backyard. And his parents like, yo, we ain't having that. We're not having none of your hair beauty schemes. <laughs> Take care of your hair. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Where is this, when he's not in the year, where is he living? But was it a three, is it $3,000 or 3,000 square feet? I think the thing costs three grand. The, the, three the, grand. the, the, the yurt? Costs three grand. But and I don't know why I keep on saying yurt. But yeah. The yurt costs like three three G's. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he stashes it in the yard for four hundred a month. Mm. You know so he saying? sleeps. He lives in, or is it set up? The place is worth three G's. Mm. Okay. And he and where he's staying yeah. is four bills a month. So all you got to oh, do is it's okay. a backyard. Stick your thing in the yeah, backyard. Yeah, yeah. And he's paying his bills four bills a go. month. Yeah, I heard about one with a shipping container. I think one of those costs about five grand. Yeah, the shipping container is a big flex now. And then and then if you get oh, parking in New York. One. It's a certain amount for the year. So if you pay up front for the year, just say it's like, I don't know, $10,000 parking for the year. Just say. Yeah, yeah. That's still only a thousand dollars a month, yeah. Which is still cheaper than rent, yeah. In New York, so like some some dudes were doing that, like Wi-Fi in there, electricity running, everything. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. In the shipping container, it's shipping smart, container. bro. Yeah. It's yeah. smart. The nigga fucked up living in the shipping container. Yeah, bro. Mind you, the wire, like you know. <laughs> oh man. Hey. All right, let's get the fuck out they of here. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's for life. Um, let me get your social medias. Yeah, yeah where the people could find you where the people could find your music stuff all mm. that good shit um hit that yeah. camera right over here s-o-h-s a-m-a 9000 that's uh that's the instagram so that's at you know what i'm saying um i really only fuck with instagram that's about it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. other than that yeah. can you repeat that one more time s-o-h-s-a-m-a Nine thousand nine zero zero zero. Okay, 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 okay. And if they want to find your music and uh, any new shit and all that, YouTube, Spotify, everywhere, all platforms. The last project I did was called um, From Time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's about I think eleven or twelve joints on there, and that's everywhere. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Which is so yeah. sad. Um, yeah, man. Yo, mm. good looking out, King. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Um, PK Herc, let the people know where to find you. Well, you know, it's me, PK Herc, as usual. Same spot, same place. You can find me on Instagram, PK Herc. Check out my other pages, you know, showcase rollers if you want to show off your rolling skills. Bam. You want to challenge somebody to a roll off, you know. <laughs> if you like, say, yo, wicked roll off. <laughs> Let me see what I'm going. You know what I mean? Tag showcase rollers, hashtag showcase rollers. Um, follow Sports Smokers Collective if you want to get gear and merchandise and stuff like that. Parkdale Smoke. A lot of pages today. Um, mm -hmm. big up my big up my gym carpio strength and conditioning where I train get my fitness on you know what I'm saying mm. big up my mechanic foreign speed for keeping my car correct so my life is safe when I'm driving you know what I'm saying I appreciate that so big up foreign speed and then um, big up we love hip hop and the whole the whole team you know what I'm saying yeah that's it episode 162 162 Big up to our guest, Richie Sosa, for coming through hey. and kicking it with us. You know what I'm saying? Big up yourself, Toronto. And hopefully this nice warm weather is here to stay. Facts, facts. Sabi Sabi. Yo, yo. Instagrams. Night, guys. Instagrams. Yo, it's new. Your new Instagram. Let the people yeah, know your new Instagram. Out. It's okay. You'll find it. Shout out, out man. Come on. There's so enough. Shout <laughs> out, man. There's so enough. Shout out your Instagram, fam. Uh, uh, yes. Savvy the ghost. That's hey. what it is. Yeah. I got one more shout out I forgot and I can't believe it. It's only because it's my brother, that's why I forgot. Heart of Toronto. Big up yourself. Heart of Toronto. Scene. Yes, yes, yes. Um, hit up my website, Friday aka Ricky Dread. That's D R E D. Uh, make sure to hit up our website. That's the hub for all interviews, news stories on a daily, mad new music. That's we love hip hop.ca. Make sure to follow me all across the board on all social media platforms. That's Friday Ricky Dread. That's D R E D. What else? What else? What else? And hit us up on Instagram. We love hip hop network. Wow. Scene. Um, I got a, a track here. 2020 leaks. More 2020 leaks. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Drake, not around. 
Run the track, DJ. Hey.